all right guys good noel here and i welcome you to my youtube channel um in this video today i want to show you how you can build a landing page from scratch to finish all right so i'm making this video because i've had a lot of people who reach out to me and they ask me questions about how you can create a landing page for your business i'm actually doing this for somebody and that's why i just thought it's cool it is a brilliant idea to just record it as i do it and put it out here in case you would be needing something like this so what is a landing page a landing page is um your page on the internet that tells people um about say a particular product or a service that you are trying to offer them all right so if you sell a product it could equally be um, your product description page if you offer a service it can be your sales page your landing page or whatever you want to call it but the sole aim is that the page is dedicated to telling people um, giving people information about a particular product or product all right so for you to be able to create a landing page successfully you must um, have um, a website or a free website or you must own your own website all right so and your website has to be online so this website I'm using now is currently online and I'm going to be walking you through the entire process of how you can do this my name is good Noel, and um, if you like videos like this you should subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the bell notification so that whenever I drop um, good stuff like this you'll be the very first person to know about it all right so if you have your website ready you're going to log into your dashboard like i have done now and this is a wordpress site so it's very simple straight to the point so you should know how to log into your website by now if you do not know how to log into your website then you have to go and first of all learn how to create a website or own a website so I'm working with WordPress and I am logged in now. So for us to build this, we need a plugin called Elementor. So I already have this Elementor installed, although this is actually not my website. So we already have an Elementor installed here, but I'm just going to show you how you can do it if you do not have it installed. So if your website is um, plain and you want to install Elementor, you have to come down here where it says plugins. And then you come here where it says add new and you click on it so you can add the elements of you there so we wait for it to load and then we come to the search plugins here and we type elementor elementor there there are um, a lot of paid videos you can use but I just like elementor I feel it's easier for me to use so you can do whatever you want you can pick any of the builders you like but like I said, we are working with Elementor. As you can see, this is installed already. So it's asking me to update it. So you have to install and update your own um, Elementor because this is the builder we are going to be using to build it. So I'm just going to wait for it to update. I've asked it to update and it's updating. All right, so it has updated. Now we come to where we have to create pages. This is where we create pages and these pages is where we find is where we build our landing page from. So we are going to build the landing page now. You if you come here you can view all the pages you have created already or you can start creating a new page which is what we want to do. So we click on add new and it's going to give us an interface where we can start building whatever we want to build so is so wait for it to come up it's coming up it's coming up and um we are almost there we'll be there in two three boom here we are so this is um just telling us about um um the wordpress block editor so i'm just going to um cancel that because i do not need to use that so here you have to select the title of what you want to what you want your landing page to to bear all right 
if you want your landing page to be about your product let me see i'm just going to call this um, a whatsapp a whatsapp um, bundle all right so this is going to be added to the url that you are going to generate so we've done that and what we have to do now is uh, you just come to you, you click edit with elementor so we can use a can use Elementor to continue our editing. So as you can see, we already have WhatsApp um, forward. Is that forward slash? No, Elementor here. All right. So we now have a clean template here we can build from. All right. You can. This is um the Elementor builder, and this is we are currently on the basic plan, which is the free plan. So we have a lot of options we can use here. And then we have the pro plan some other features you can use only when you are on the pro plan all right if you are starting off i think the 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 basic plan will just be fine for you if you have a need to to upgrade then fine but for this video we are going to be using the basic plan so from here we can um get templates already pre-made templates that we can use and just edit so you can click on get templates there and then you see all these templates some of them are free as you can see this one is pro this is pro this is pro so these ones are free you can just um, um, select any of them and start editing them all right so you you, you look for um, the one that suits what you want to do all right if, if you find the one that um, is in line with what you want to do or the one you like and then you can start editing them so I actually don't like to use this because I like to build my own from scratch I just have to add blocks so I'll just show you how you can do this from here and then how you can go back and build from build from scratch because I like scratch for this um, so I'm just going to I'm just going to select one which one should I use um, I think I like this one. Should I use this one? You can actually search, but um, a lot of them will be paid, so we're just going to okay. Let's just use this one, a landing page, and then it gives you an option. It shows you a preview of what this thing is going to look like. So what this means is that we can download this and then and edit it to whatever we want. So I'm just going to insert it and see it come up, and then we can start editing it. So we are we are waiting it's loading we are waiting for it to load so we can get to work by the way if you are finding value um if you are finding value with this video or through this video you should like this video so that this video can um get to reach more people on youtube and um so that i can be happy at least that's the very least you can do for me so this, it has opened and this is um what we have as you can see each of these each of these um, um template is is a d table so you can from here first of all add the logo if you have a logo all right the one of the key things with building a landing page is that you you may not be needing a lot of all these things so you do not distract people like um these widgets where you have your social media your, your um, twitter and all of that if you are building a landing page especially if you want it to be heavily focused and you want if you want it to be converting you do not want people to go outside the page you want them to remain on this page because you want them to get the information you're trying to pass and decide to buy from you so you do not need all of these things because at the point people get i do it's not like they don't like what you're saying but at the point people get i do and then they want they want to be engaged so they now want to go and check out your facebook check out your twitter check out and before you know once they hit twitter something else catches their attention and off they go so you've lost their attention so it's it's better that you remove all of these things remove every distraction you keep them on the page keep them on the page because that's where you want them to be so I'm going to delete all of these because no, I do not need them. I do not want them. I do not want them to be there. 
all right i equally do not need the logo so i'm going to delete everything there so now we can click on this image you can change this image by just um you can change anything here by just clicking on it all right so if um if you want to change this test you just click on the test as you can see we have we have um the text box here so i'm just going to say your dreamland your dreamland is here your dreamland is here all right as you can see it's changing instantly it's changing instantly you can change you can change the alignment we want it to come central so it has gone central you can embed link here by posting a url where you want this thing to go if you want it to be um, a link or you can come here and you can change the styles you can change the color the color of the test from here you can see the test is white so you can come here and change the color so I'm just going to keep it here so you see that changes so you can you can change um, the, the style of that font if you do not like that font that's a robot tool you can change it to any font you want so you select the font you want it's coming up it's coming up I think my network is slow so you change to rock and roll and then you can increase the test all right and increase the test to the rock and roll as you want all right so that's um, practically what you want to be doing with this so you have um, an advanced feature where you can put motion effects to the test so we can say we want this test to fade in as you can see it fades in if you want it to to fade up it fades up and there are a lot of animations you can select from here let's say we want it to rotate in as you can see it rotates in all right so you have um, a lot of um, things you can do from here all right so to click this to edit this button this is equally what you have to do you can change the the right up on that button as you can see here it says it says book a room we are saying um reach us contact us contact us You can see again that changes you can um, change the defaults and make it um, something like that here you are the URL where you want it where you want once they click this button where you want them to land you put the URL here again you can set the alignment set an icon and the icon spacing all right everything you want to do you can do from here you can set the style again you can change the color of the 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 box so you can change it you can make it red if that's what you want you can change the you can add the text shadow if you want so there it has no text shadow because it's on a blob background so you can change the color and um, you can add the text shadows all right so this is um the background type you can change the background type and you can you can practically do anything you want to do from here and the advanced again you can select the motion effect you want you can want it you can have it you can have it bouncing so as you see it bounces you can change the background if you want you can change the background type this is um this is it doesn't have any background color but you can change it to so you see all right you can make it um blue if that's what you wanted so that's how you use um all of this so everything here is editable so you want to change this image you click on the image so you can see where it says you choose an image and then you can upload the image or use an image from the library i'm just going to select this image and use it for now and as you can see that changes the same thing here and everything you want to do you can just edit everything and then once you're done you just click on publish all right you click on publish and you'll be ready to go that means you've created a landing page for yourself you can um see what they did here you can see they have buttons everywhere 
so you must have drafted what you want to do what your copy should look like and then you you fix everything as you would want it to be you remove all the images you don't want replace them with your own any block you don't want you can just delete delete them just delete them and that's all so that's how you create it using a template so these are pre-made templates they give you a kind of um, easy to use system all right now i'm going to show you how you create everything from scratch without the use of a template so i'm just going to let's first let's preview what we've done so you can preview it you can preview what you've done and see So this is um, a preview. As you can see, this is how it, it is displayed. This is the only thing we change, and this guy here. So now let's go back to how we can build everything from scratch. So I'm going to go to um, the main dashboard so we can start afresh. So we say leave because we do not want to use that. So we go back to our our manager. All right. So we are starting afresh. So this is a WhatsApp bundle again. So we click on um, edit with Elementor. If you don't want to use Elementor, you can use the WhatsApp default builder and build. All right, but I just like Elementor more. And I think you should like it too. Um, no, this guy is not going off. I don't want you to be here anymore. I'm done with you. Let's go back to dashboard. That guy doesn't want to leave us but we are done with it we are done with it why not let us be my friend so we we have to create a new page again so you come here again where it says pages and you come to add new so we wait for it to give us the option to add new so we now have to add another title so I'm just going to name this one Facebook Facebook nothing and then we go to edit with Elementor because again we are editing with Elementor so we wait for it to come up so we can start pro um, editing or creating so since we've 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 tried the one with the template we just want to start without the use of a template all right so you can select your this the kind of structure you want can select the kind of structure you want but i do not want all of that i just want to start from scratch so um this is the heading if you wanted to add the heading you can just drag and drop whatever you want to do here all right so we can now add our heading so this is the testing heading this is not a copywriting video so you must know how to create your um your copies before you start creating your landing pages all right so that's the test we have here we have added a heading and again you can make this um you can make it clickable so people can come here and once they click on the test it will redirect them to wherever you want them to redirect, redirect them but we do not want to do that now so we just um we want to align the test and keep it central. I just like to keep my test central, my heading central. And here you can select the, the tag type if you want it to be larger than that, if you want it to be smaller than that. All right, so we are just going to keep it at the default as H2. And um, here we come to style again. Everything is practically the same. It's just that here you are building from scratch and you do not have a template. But the, the initial one they just give you a template to work with all right so here you can change the test color again so i can just move that here move this here and select the color i want all right i think the red is okay so we click on continue you can come here where it says typography and then you change the test again this is a default test so i'm just going to select any one any one i like here so i'm just going to use this one I think that's actually cool that heading um, so you can increase the, the size the size of the test the heading again so I think I'm just going to leave it at that 
and you have a lot of options and I, I actually don't find this was necessary um, you can come to advance come to advance again where you have all your motion effects and you can select the kind of animation you want so we want this animation to rotate down and right rotating down right so it's rotating in down right I want it to pause so this is how it's going to pulse in we want it to wobble and this is how it wobbles in so if, if you you can change the background it has a transparent background but you can decide to make a classic background too so you can choose an image to make it a classic background and I don't think I have an image I can use here but let's see um, just for the purpose of this video I think I'll use this one so you see how it comes in you know the the image now the heading now has the background all right so we now have our heading we come back here we want to add an inner section so we can just drag and drop it all right we want it to be below it so um you can add whatever you want here or you come back and if you want to add images you can select it and add images here you just drag and drop and then again you can select the size of the image you want we're going to keep it at medium large and then you can select choose the image you want so I'm going to use this guy again I think I like that guy ha 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 so we have this guy here already if you want to make this link if you want to make this picture a redirecting link again you can put a link to it and you can even caption it if you want but that's not all what you want to do again you can change the styles and add animations anything you want to do you have the liberty to do it but we want to add um, a text editor because we want to write so you you drag it you drag your text editor you drag your text editor and you add it here so it gives you an opportunity to write so I'm just going to write we are we are just creating a simple landing page here a simple landing page here all right so you can from here you can from here um, make embolden the test or make it um, e italic make it um, black is actually a good color for writing but if you if you have something you want to do you can do whatever you want to do because you are in charge now all right so we've added them um, you can write as much as you want but I do not have a lot of things to write here so you can we are done here so you come back here and then you select again we want to add videos so we come here we click on give us um, the video icon so we put the video so you can use your youtube video or you can save host save host simply means you want to upload the video yourself so it gives you the opportunity to choose the video you want to upload and then you can upload the video all right but we we don't want to say first now so you can equally add a youtube video a vimeo video a daily notion daily motion all you have to do is just um once you've selected youtube you can just paste the link here paste the link of the youtube video you want to add here so you can select the player control if you want this video to auto play so the moment people land on this page the video starts playing all right you can check that on can check it on keep it on if you don't if you don't want it you can um if you, if you want them to click on play before it starts playing then you can turn it off and then that's it that's that's how you add videos again you can set the style the aspect ratio advanced you can ha add everything you want how you want the video to come in and how you want it to go out if you want it to go out and we are done with that like i said i won't be adding any videos because i do not have any videos so now i want to add a call to action button so you can add it here 
and you can write whatever you want to write a call to action button so we've changed it to success you can keep it at info um danger put it as success because we sort of like green all right so you can increase the size you want it to be medium or even large is large okay let's say extra large and then you can increase the spacing of it you can now click where you want to add the link you can put the link so i'm just going to add the link that doesn't actually work um good ideas i don't know if that should work but i do not own this domain name i'm just putting it there so I want it to redirect to this link so if that's what you want you can just put the link here and you can align it if you want it to come central you just click on center if you want it to go to the left right it goes there if you want it to cover everywhere you put it this way and here you can click the test and we can see um order now order now all right again you can come here where you go to style and you can in um, change the typography which is the test again so we want to use um, another test uh -huh. let's use this one and you can increase the size of that because we want it to pop all right so you can set your animation you can do whatever you want to do anything you want to do you are free to do my friend all right so one the motion effect again i am not really a big fan of um, animations and all of that i like to keep things um I like to keep things the way they are but if you like it you have the option to do it so we want it to bounce in down all right just select whatever you want to do we want it to roll in and you see it rolls in because that's what we want we tell it to do what we want it to do and it it does it so once you are done you come back here and what else should we add can add a divider a spacer icons wp forms if you are selling a product or you are trying to generate leads and you want if you want to add a form you can add a form but before you add the form you must have created the form all right so you can just drag and drop the form here and once you come here it's going to ask you to select the form so you must have created the form before you can select it so once you open it it's going to ask you to just pick the form you want to select and once you select it it's going to pop here i do not own this website so i'm not going to select any of that forms for you to see because it's not mine all right so that my friend is how you actually build the build your landing page with elementor and once you're done once you're done you click on publish but before we publish you can click on preview you can um, undo some things if you want but if you think that's fine for you you just publish let's just preview it and see what we are working with or what we've created and see how it works so this is exactly how it works all right so this is the video this is the video and that's it that's the that's the call to action button we have added so this is how you create a landing page of course you have to add more more information to your page depending on what you're selling or how you are trying to market all right and once you're done you just uh, publish it so that my friend is how you build a landing page from scratch to finish using elementor and wordpress that equally brings us to the end of this video I hope you like this video i hope it's helped you i hope you found um you found it valuable and it can help you create your next landing page if so you should like this video if so and you're not subscribed to this youtube channel you should subscribe to this youtube channel all right so that be all and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye bye